Hello again, um, it's Mr. Collie here and we're going to look at Scratch again and this time we're going to make a timer that counts down as, a, as we play our game. Um, so what we're going to do with that is basically we need to make a variable called countdown or timer or something. So like most variables I'm going to use the stage and on the stage I'm going to write a script. First thing I need to do is create my countdown timer. So make a variable I'm going to call it time and click OK and you'll see that my variable pops up here. Now what I need to do is I need to set that time at the start of the game. So when the green flag is clicked set time to be and we'll call it 30 seconds. For the sake of argument you can play around with that. Um, then what we want to happen is every second <coughs> we want to change time by minus one if we're counting down and wait where are we? wait one second so there we go set the time change it by minus one wait a second in fact I might just swap those round so it'll start on 13 you'll get a full second there that's basically it. Um, you've obviously linked your timer into your game over screen and so on, but that requires a bit more complex scripting once you've made your screens. So let's just test it. There we go. 28, 27. Now, if you don't do anything to end the uh, game when time equals zero, then your time will just carry on into minus figures. So if you're going to use a timer, you should really couple it with a game over screen or something that stops your game when timer equals zero.